Hey guys, this is Nick from Enter Martial Arts. In this video, we're going to go over staff basic movements and combinations. Now, the staff we're going to use is this uh, Weesing carbon fiber staff. It's a carbon fiber composite, so it's much harder to break. Um, it's still quite flexible, just like these things here. These are the traditional uh, waxwood staffs that, that have been used um, for, for many, many years. Um, I guess the big difference is really only the difference in hardness. So this is much harder to break. So if you notice that you're breaking a lot of waxwood staves, then uh, definitely look out for these carbon fiber ones. They are a bit more expensive, but probably worth it. One thing to look out for, these are much harder. So if you are slamming onto the ground, you may hurt your hand the first few times. So please be careful with that. So uh, in preparation, please make sure to mark your staves, especially if you're a beginner. Um, that way you don't scrape yourself and hit yourself in the chest um, when, uh, when doing any sort of swings. Now the best way to do that is put your fist in your armpit just like this and put the end of the staff right at the end of your fist. Don't push down too hard. Okay, and then you're gonna uh, hold your arm out and see where my pinky is? That's where you want to put uh, some tape and that kind of marks it so you can put your, your forefinger there. So if you were to swing the staff, um, you know that you have plenty of clearance. You're not gonna hit yourself. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so here are some basic movements for the Chinese cudgel. Since it only has one tapered end, like a billiard cue stick, you'll find that many of the techniques begin on one end of the staff. So make sure to always be aware of which end is the thicker end. You will want the weapon to eventually feel like an extension of your body. I don't think I really understood that phrase until I could perform these basics without having to think about them. So you will really want to do these over and over again until it's almost impossible to make a mistake. Now a great way to become consistent in your technique is to aim at a single leaf in a tree or a point on a wall while working on these repetitive movements. Now these staves have properties that allow them to flex and bend a bit, so you'll see techniques that take advantage of that like tapping the ground left and right as well as flicking the staff end upwards or downwards. As you become more confident in your movements and begin to move faster, you will want the staff to really whistle through the air. Um, don't forget to move your head out of the way, definitely, um, or else the weapon will remind you. Ultimately, I recommend messing around a lot with this weapon. Every staff is different, naturally, and you really want to get to know your weapon before swinging it around at high speeds. The cudgel is one of my favorite weapons. It's a very versatile weapon that you can very quickly allow for lots of creativity. So the staff was the weapon of the commoner. It's a great tool to hold multiple items like water buckets across your shoulder or as a drying rod for clothing or noodles. Now in spite of it being a simple and non-expensive weapon, there are many legendary stories that include the staff, including quite a few that star a monkey king whose weapon could shrink or grow to any size. There's another story about a group of monks who used their cudgels to protect their temple from invaders. Now you'll notice that the momentum of the staff is used a lot in these combinations and you can see how one movement really flows into the next before coming to an end. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Um, now a few tips and tricks to remember about this particular type of weapon. Uh, remember that you're many times swinging this staff like a baseball bat so you need to make sure that uh, you know what's around you so you're not knocking into anything. There are many other martial arts styles where you may be holding on to the center like this maybe needing a little bit less space but that's definitely not true with a weapon like this. Uh, second is make sure you know the limitations of your weapon. Um, that's why I really like this carbon fiber staff. You can really beat it up before you even get close to its limitations. Um, but um, I really recommend that people start with the waxwood staff. It, it is much more economical and you can really decide if you really like the weapon. And with that said, those weapons have been known to break if you really slam it into the ground incorrectly, especially when you're tapping back and forth or slamming into the ground incorrectly. So make sure that you're kind of holding back and getting a good understanding of what what that limit is uh, for a weapon like this. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.